In today's video, we're diving into what's in versus what's out for fashion in 2024. The question is though, will these trends work on a curvy body? To find out, keep on watching. new here I'm Chi Chi welcome and if you're not new here hey girl hey it's your fave welcome new kids and let them know how we treat family around here on this channel we're all about celebrating self-expression and fabulous fashion so if you love fashion beauty and vlogs sis you found your tribe stay a while I'm about to spill the tea on all things style for 2024 including the most wearable trends for spring but before we get into that you know the drill if you're not new here hit the subscribe button and turn on those notifications and go ahead and grab your favorite snack sit back and let's get into it I got my notes here so I don't forget some let's start with one trend that is sadly in for 2024 and I mean it when I say sadly it's going to be the low rise jean y'all she has been creeping and crawling her way in back into fashion even though we have screamed and scrumped that we don't want her okay but thanks to the likes of the Biebers and the Lori Harveys the trend is here okay I don't want to stay here to stay but she, she is here she's definitely navigating the comeback and I've dubbed her the comeback kid because she said I ain't going nowhere I'm gonna be here but here this is a perfect example of take this list with a grain of salt right wear what works for your body if the low-rise jeans look impeccable on you if you've been going to Pilates and you have rock hard abs and there is no muffin top okay to be found or saddlebags then girl rock that low rise if you love it if you can work it I made a video on Instagram where I was showing the, the importance of silhouette on your body type when it comes to jeans I'm gonna put a little clip of it right here but you can see that if you happen to have an apron belly or any sort of like concern around your lower abdomen this is not the trend for you so even though it's in I'm gonna keep on keeping on with my high waist or mid waist even jeans but let me know how you feel about the low rise trend in the comments below y'all there is this one trend that I have been waiting for years and y'all gonna want to tussle with me but I'm so glad it's finally out and you'll be surprised you know and some of y'all ain't gonna like it but it's true it's time to retire this denim style hold on I have been calling this for years now it's going to be the distressed jeans you know distressed from up and down I actually made a TikTok about this I was like y'all it is time to retire them distressed jeans we are all grown ups and I don't know if it's an age thing but I don't even think so because I was watching some videos here on YouTube okay and I heard you know younger Millennials and the Gen Zers saying they're also over distressed jeans if you got jeans that have multiple rings that's destroyed from the mid thigh all the way to the ankle it is time it is time to retire it and the fact of the matter is like jeans like that are not the most versatile and being that elevated casual is a trend that we're starting to see everywhere you need jeans that you can wear casual Fridays to work and on the weekends and you cannot do that with jeans that are destroyed from mid thigh all the way down now did I used to be a little bit rebellious when distressed jeans were in style and you know wear a pair that had like a teeny slash around the knee I did I was but I was a classroom teacher so I could kind of get away with it but yeah it is time to retire those very extremely distressed jeans the next category is going to be chic footwear choices and this year is the year of the Mary Jane slash ballet flat so all the girlies that have always been asking about flat options this is your year okay the fashion girls so they are tired of breaking their necks in stilettos and Mary Jane slash ballet flats are making a comeback in full force so for all my girls who are vertically challenged and are allergic to having their foot on the floor then the kitten heel is your next best thing kitten heels especially mule kitten heels are going to be huge this season I've seen them at, from high to low from Prada to Zara we've already started seeing these mule kitten heels come into the market and I think this is going to be like the peak of them this year so if you can't do the Mary Jane which I think is a great option and if you want to make it more fashion and more fun offer a pop of color like a bold red or a neon or even a metallic if you can't do the flats then I highly recommend you invest in some fun kitten heels and whether we like it or not whether you're vertically challenged or not lower heels are more comfortable okay they're more comfortable to say 
And on the subject of peaks of skin, cutouts. The fashion girl Lee said cutouts are out. I don't know how I feel about that because I really like cutouts. I really like cutouts. So someone who dresses a little bit more modest, I'm always wary of using the word modest because I feel like it definitely gives certain people the impunity to police people's outfits. Yeah, men and women do it, but mostly I feel like it gives certain women the impunity to police other women's outfits. But if you're someone like me who tends to be modest-ish, <laughs> I really love the idea of cutouts because you could have a fun cutout around, you know, your decolletage, maybe a, a peak of skin around your waist, etc, etc. I never did anything too extreme, but I love those like artfully placed peaks of skin, a little cutout in the back. But apparently cutouts are out just like distressing. <laughs> now, if you are someone who has been on the fence about cargoes, they are still in style for 2024. I will say say that I would not spend the cost of the Atticos that made this a super popular urban trend. But if you've been thinking about it, there's so many variations in the market from the ones that are super exaggerated and super cargoed like the Atticos that have pockets everywhere to ones that just feature subtle cargo pockets on the side. Now personally, I've decided that I want to sit out this trend. Not that I haven't tried it because I waited till last year to try the trend, but I realized it just did not work for me. As much as I love the wide leg silhouette, I counted two problems. One, it was really hard for me to find the right length. For me, I wanted to dress up the cargos. I didn't want to wear them casually. And it was really hard for me at 5'7 to find pairs that were long enough for me to throw a heel on with them. And then the second one that I realized after styling it a couple of times and getting feedback from you guys actually, was that I have a really short torso and that just does not go well with cargos. Every time I would style it, it just it just didn't look good on me. And actually, we're gonna talk a little bit more about that and being self-aware later in the video, so stay tuned. However, if you have been thinking about the cargos, it's, it's now or never, sis. It's now or never. Now, speaking of something that was super trendy, just as trendy as the cargos last year, it's going to be the cowboy yeah. aesthetics. The fashion girls said it's time to hang up that hat. A lot of what we saw last year that was super saturated is kind of out for this year. Okay, so if you bought into it, I'm not telling you what to do with your clothes. I'm just telling you that the cowboy aesthetic, the renaissance era of cowboys is definitely on its way out in 2024. If you got it in your closet, fine. I would not purchase any more, okay? I would not. Unless you want to look like you're perpetually on the renaissance store with Beyonce. Now, one tip I live by when it comes to trends is not to go 100% in. For example, I have these white boots. They are kind of cowboy inspired. They have the little notch in front. The heel gives cowboy. However, they don't have all the swirlies and the cutouts and all of the things that the traditional cowboy boot has. In thinking about the cargo trend, maybe you want to opt for a trouser with a little pocket versus a full on in on the cargo pant trend with a zillion pockets right now because sooner rather than later the trend will also be on its way out and you want to have the versatility to still be able to wear the clothing without looking dated. One thing that's definitely in is chic tailoring is huge for 2024, but I feel like it's been in for a little while. Specifically, when I think about chic tailoring, we're talking suits, but this year it's with an emphasis on the waist. This started last year and it's definitely keeping its momentum into 2024. So you're looking for suiting with details like a belt for the waist or some corsetting, just those little, or even a cutout. I know, I just said cutouts were out. Something that really draws the eye to the waist. On the flip side, I have been talking about jackets. Pants now are also being designed with an emphasis towards the waist. So we're going for a super high-waisted, ultra high-rise pants, okay, with corsetting built in or that stop right underneath the bust, okay, to really help to elongate the leg 
while drawing attention to the waist. Now, if you have a short waist, this is this is a trend that you want to thread gently, softly. How do people say that? You know what I'm trying to say. Lightly? Yeah, that's the word. That's it. But definitely the waist is having a moment. Honestly, all things girls, girl, girly is having a moment. Show shears, rosettes, lace, like all bows, all things girly is kind of having a moment, but Definitely, there's a huge emphasis on the waist. And yes, there's a rumor out there that peplums are back. Y'all know how I feel about that. Y'all know how I feel about peplums. And we'll talk about that another day. Speaking of tailoring, the oversized trend is definitely on its way out. Now, this is a trend that I always struggled with because I love the idea of it, but being a curvy girl, it was tricky to kind of pull together and I do feel like I have moments where I pulled it off but it's one of those things that could easily give slob if not done well so the super oversized sweatshirts super oversized blazers all of that is sort of giving way to more structured and more tailored style so if you do still have your oversized blazers it's in your closet girl I'm not saying don't rock it I'm saying don't buy no more okay just saying <laughs> and speaking of oversized sweats everywhere the fashion girls said the pandemic was two years ago right we're in 2024 mm -hmm, 2020. yeah the fashion girls said the pandemic started three years ago or is it four years and it's time for us to give up our sweats all of the time okay the fashion girly said this is the year to dress up to be cute to put in some effort to be put together now i'm team sweatpants so they don't want to see sweatpants anywhere else but on the airplane <laughs> on your way to the gym and possibly the grocery stores. They want us to be putting together these outfits to show up to work, okay? So just just, just putting it out there. I love a good cohort set. I love a good sweat set. But if you're gonna do that, you wanna make sure you're sticking to light or dark. So blacks, navies, or creams and whites. Cohort sets that are made out of knits and less out of like sweat panty material. So you can still have that comfort that you seek without giving oversized Slobness. Now we haven't talked about colors. So let's talk about some of the colors that we saw a lot of that are in. So white, black, and red. Those are three colors that are going strong and will be going strong in 2024. What I love about them is that they're kind of like timeless colors, you know, that you can wear spring, summer. We saw a lot of white, especially. So if you love a white moment, this is your year. I love a white moment in the winter, in the summer. It just looks elevated. It just looks crisp. It just gives like really Riviera vibes and a lot of black and white as well. We saw a lot of that. Now, again, if you want to go with a pop of color, red is a safe bet for 2024. You can rock it. And if you've been buying a lot of red in 2023, it's going right back, right into 2024. You know, with Valentine's Day around the corner. Girl, have your moment. Now, I, I have a qualm with the fashion girls because what's out is unfortunately Barbie core. Specifically, that means pink and hot pink. Y'all know pink looks so good on brown skin girlies, I have to say so. And so when I tell you that I literally had a pink thing for like four years straight, I had a lot of pink in my wardrobe. And so for them to tell me that Barbie core is out the door because I think Mattel overdid it. They did, they did. I'm really sad. And I don't know, I'm still wearing my pink. <laughs> Again, great assault, but apparently hot pink, Barbie core, anything, all the pink, 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 that's out. In place of that, red is an option, which does not look as good in my complexion, unfortunately, as pink, but it is what it is. But you could also do like a plum, you know, a burgundy. Again, mixed feelings about those colors, but just wanna let you know, step away from the pink. The fashion girl, he said, we had enough. And now this last one, I really feel like the girls are gonna tussle on this one. I really feel like y'all ain't gonna like it, but it's crazy nail art. Sometimes I wonder if how the correlations between trends and age, right? I am an older millennial-ish. When does millennial stop? I am on the south side of 30. If for you, for those who get it, they get it, right? And I would say for the last three or four years, I have just not been about colorful nails. I have not been about anything that's too state many on my nails. I literally have been getting the same color on my nails for the last two years. And the fashion girls are saying that all of that boldness and all the color and all the loudness and all the nail art and all of that, 
but that is a no. Now, we already know that the people that create these sort of like forecasts and decide what's in and what's out, that they tend not to be as diverse of, <laughs> of demographics as we might like. And I know that nail art is a very big part of especially the minority experience from brown people to black people. However, I feel like there is definitely has been sort of like an a oversaturation of nail art that having something that's clean and pared back is now something that's actually sought after. And so that means you're going for like your light colored neutrals, your natural colored manis and petties. I always get like this sort of like translucent off white, but you know, something like this. And if you really want to get spicy, maybe you add a little bit of a shimmer or a chrome to it. But this is definitely what is now starting to trend when it comes to nails. I love me a good almond shaped nail in this translucent color. It just hits every time. And for me personally, the way my mind works, when I have a lot going on with my nails, it like trips me up almost when I want to get dressed. Cause now I feel like my outfit has to complement my nails. Versus when I go for a nail like this, I know that it always works. And specifically when it's grown out like it is now, I mean y'all, it is bad. I don't know if y'all can see that. When it's grown out like it is now, it's not as obvious as when I have like a funky color or print or like design. You thought I was done? Not done. I have a bonus list. So these are things that are fashion, but also fashion adjacent. And you'll see what I mean. So one thing that's definitely out for 2024 is keeping up. And by keeping up, especially I feel like in this social space, spending more time giving off a certain persona. Whether it is that you're a luxury girl, so you have all the designer things, but you still got all your student student loans, no judgment here or trying to have like the perfect aesthetic space. I'm raising my hand here because I am definitely guilty of trying to hide my disorganization, you know, on social media. Whether it's either or, or in any other way that you feel like, you know, you're playing a part or a role to be accepted or to be perceived a certain way. Y'all, it is exhausting. It is exhausting. As I'm saying this, I'm also, I also find myself guilty at times of trying to perpetuate. Yup, that's the right word right there. Yeah. Trying to perpetuate a narrative. And so in 2024, I just really want the girls, you know, to spend less time trying to keep up and more time actually enjoying and building the life you want, okay? Because I'm not a financial advisor, especially for my social media girlies. It can be so easy to try to prove success that as soon as you get your first couple of checks, you you want to pop into the Chanel boutique or go to Saks and blow a bag. You know, and again, if this does not apply, it shouldn't hit a nerve. Okay, I'm just saying. When you could be reinvesting that money into your business by buying your time back so that you can have more space to be creative. Okay? Another one is, is it kind of ties into it because I'm a, I'm gonna talk a little bit. It's quality over recognition. And that exact thing I'm thinking about is Chanel right now. Okay, wanting to raise the price again for the jumbo flap. I feel like their goal is to get to $10,000 for that bag. Y'all, I remember the first time I saw that bag and I said, I'm gonna get this bag. Do I still have the bag? No, but that's not the point. <laughs> and I think maybe that's why I'm mad because they keep raising the price, okay, when I'm so close. But anyways, I saw it on Lauren Conrad on the hills and I Googled that bag to find out how much it was, and it was $1,500. Imagine if I bought that bag that time. Why didn't I? I would have made a solid bag selling it right now because Chanel is being really ignorant trying to price out everyone because they only want a certain type of person carrying their brand, I understand. So while there is so many other mid-tier luxury houses that are making some beautifully impeccably made bags. One person that has been coming in full speed is Coach. Coach had a bad rep for a long time, but the quality on some of their pieces, some of their leathers, <laughs> is giving. And I tr I'm trying my best not to fill up my whole closet with coach bags because you're getting the quality for the price 99% of the time. Okay. I like to wait for a good sale and you're not spending 10 stacks. 
you know? Another example is gonna be like a polen. Again, they use leather, the craftsmanship is there. I own um, one of their bags, so I've seen it. I've had people stop me and ask me like, oh my God, I wanted to know if this bag was that good in person. Again, you're not dro dropping 10 stacks. Or another bag that I think is probably one of the best purchases I made last year is an a um, ALC, I believe it's ALC or APC, y'all don't quote me on it, it'll be on the screen. If you wanted a Hermes box bag, I don't even know what that bag costs now. Last time I checked was years ago, it was over $5,000. You can get the ABC bag. Same vibe, style, everything. And when I say I was taken aback about the quality of this leather, the only thing that I don't like about the bag is that the hardware scratches. But besides that, oh my God, I was literally taken aback. So what we're leaving in 2024 is having these luxury brands gouge us just because they put their name on a piece of leather. Mm -mm. We're over that. Whew. No, this next one. Okay, not dressing for the body you have. Being Delulu. Okay, shopping for the model's body and not yours. We, we need to leave that in 2023. We need to not bring that into 2024. We need, that is out for 2024. Please, ladies, please, I implore you. Okay, before you buy, ask yourself, does she look like me? Do I have the same hips and butt and stomach to thigh ratio. I'm not saying you can't wear what you want, but I'm saying a lot of the reason why girlies look in the mirror and don't like what they see is because they're not working with what they got. And in this channel, we are team work with what you got, which means buy for the body you have, not the body you want, okay? All right. This is the beginning of the year, and I'm sure for the last two months you've been seeing videos about making 2024 your best years, about how to change your life, about you know how to make your dream come true. There will never be a perfect time to start. The perfect time is now, right now. And I'm saying this to you and me as I'm thinking of things I want to start. <laughs> which I can't wait to share with you guys. I left my job in education in 2019 with 20,000 subscribers on Instagram and about the similar numbers on YouTube. It was hard. I learned a lot of lessons. I am a creative, never took a business course in my life, okay? But when I decided that I wanted to make this life change, I did what I had to do. There will never be a time where all the stars will align for you to make the change for you to take the step. You just gotta take it. And that leads me to the next point. The reason why I feel like a lot of us are not taking the step, I think is because our lives are no longer in a vacuum because of social media and because of how connected we are. We're all afraid to be seen trying and even to be seen failing. I know failing was a huge reason why I didn't start any sooner. And even after I started, failing was something that was on my mind a lot. But I'm realizing that something is only really a failure if a lesson doesn't come out of it. So it could be you learning from the failure or it could be somebody else learning from your experience, right? But let's be okay with being seen trying. My girl Lita has a, a fun series on Instagram where she's talking about this, things that she's trying and being comfortable being seen trying. And I really think that that's something that's definitely in for 2024. Let us be okay with being, seeing, trying. Even if you fail, someone hopefully, if not you, will have learned a lesson from that and it's always worth it. No knowledge is wasted, quoting my mother. <laughs> And there you have it, folks. This is the scoop on what's in and what's out for 2024. Did anything resonate? Do you agree or disagree with anything I said? Tell me. Let me know in the comments and let's start a fun fashion conversation. You never know. I might just feature your comment in the next video. Hit the notification bell. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, stay blessed, chic, fabulous, and keep slaying your curves with confidence.